In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the various methods provided by the active record for deleting one or many records from the database. So, as we are just familiar with the destroy method, if we want to delete a record from the destroy method, then de record from the database, then we can directly use the destroy method. For example, if you want to destroy the first record, then you just one can fetch the first and just run the destroy method in it and this can also be done and the another way of de destroying or deleting the record is delete method too and you can also use delete method in here so there are two major difference between using delete and destroy that you need to consider so I am just going to explain what each of to them does so when you run the destroy method in the object it is going to run all the code that is inside the model so you have the model in this app app and this here models and see product here I don't have any code in here but you might have in your in your application then if you use the destroy method then all of this code is going to be executed or all of these callbacks is going to be executed but if you want to use the delete or if you use the delete method then those code is not going to get executed so when you run the delete method in an object it is just going to delete the single object with the help of the id provided and no ruby code inside the model get executed so in the case of the delete we have three advantages we need to take care of so the first is that we don't have any model instances so we don't have any model instances because no code inside the model is going to be executed when using the delete so the another is delete single sql delete statement is generated by this delete so unlike in destroy there are many destroy or delete statement of sql or sql are generated but in delete that is not the case the single sql statement is generated and we also don't have any callbacks in this delete method so so let's try to run this okay see here just one is happened and if you want to just delete multiple record from the database and you can just do like this product.all.is do p and you can just to destroy or delete and you can just run this and in this block and just everything will just work fine but the problem with this is that it will also generate the number of sql queries that is correspondent to the number of record present in the database so for each record each sql statement are generated and which is a downside for the performance boost like we have talked in the update statement or update object so the the way of gaining the performance boost is using the delete all dot delete underscore all so we know that we have just we had three days records in our database one we just deleted and we have i think four records in the database we deleted one then we had three record but it just deleted the two it just deleted the records by using a single sql statement and it just deleted the two i think there are two way i think there must be two records in the database that were deleted using this single sql statement so if you were to destroy or delete the record by using the multiple then this command would have deleted all of this record and have generated bunch of sql statements so the thing you can do to gain the performance is used to use delete delete all method in here so the main thing is that you need to be aware of using delete because no code ex inside the model is going to get executed so thanks for watching guys